Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett. Welcome to Objective C for Absolute Beginners. Tonight we're going to be talking a, um, the second in a series of different Objective C um, classes that we have available to us. And tonight we're talking about uh, NS mutable string. We talked about in the last session NS string. And I'm um, going to go through some of the differences here. And the best way to look at differences is to break it open with some code. I'm going to bring up uh, my handy dandy Xcode editor. And uh, here's the code that we looked at in the last session that was recorded uh, and placed on YouTube here. And um, again, the difference between a mutable string and a non mutable string, in other words, the difference between NS string and NS mutable string, is NS string um, um, allows us to change the string after we've already assigned it. Okay? Okay, so here we have, um, what we have is we've taken first string from what we've used before, and what I have is I'm taking it and using string with string to copy it and placing it into my mutable string. All right, so in order to copy a string from one string to another, you want to use the method string with string. All right, and that will allow you to put it into a mutable string. Now, once I put it into a mutable string, then I can go ahead and I can copy it again. I can uh, append it. I can manipulate that string as much as I want. So for example here is I took mutable string which contained first string and I appended float string onto it by calling string with append string. And again for any of the documentation you can just go ahead and highlight it and go up to quick help for selected items and it will bring up a little write up on it. Um, additionally we can go and look at the class and the methods but this particular um, class has a, um, a related document called String Programming Guide, which is very good. It basically is a write-up in, um, in long-form description on how NS string and how NS mutable string work. All right, so now, and I brought that up right here. Here it is, and you can go through, and it's got example applications, um, write-ups on specific things that you want to do, um, and things for further reading. Okay, so now, now that we have gone ahead and we've um, assigned the different assignments to our mutable string, appended a string, copied a string, the other one that I wanted to talk about is sometimes you want to compare strings. And this is a common mistake here, is being able to um, compare with the double equal, like you would do, you know, comparing two integers. Well, if you think about what's going on here, these are pointers. They're pointers to objects, in this case, strings, right? Um, one's a NS string and one's a mutable string. Well, in this particular uh, example here, if you were to do this, you would be comparing memory locations, which is not what you want to do. You're comparing the contents which reside at those, um, at those memory locations. So you want to use the method is equal to string. So that would look like this. And we want to compare that to a pen string. That would be the proper way, let's add the bracket, to go ahead and um, compare if two strings are equal. Again, um, common mistake, and I've known developers that have shipped apps to the App Store uh, comparing strings that way and call me up and ask me, hey, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't, how come? And you look at their code and you're like, oh, that's because you're comparing two strings with a double equal. All right. And then, of course, when we run the application, we can see here, here's what my our pen string looks like now. A pen string is going to be um, mute string plus float string. And we can see 
um, what we've done here. Um, this holds my number and then we append it on to it. My number is equal to 56 for float string. All right. Um, in our next class, next week at this time, for those of you that are attending live, we will be going through um, NS array followed by NS mutable array and some of the methods and how to use that. And then uh, followed up by NS dictionary and NS mutable dictionary. So, and then NS number. So probably the four most common um, classes that you'll use in your iPhone development. Guarantee you that uh, you at least have NS string and probably NS array and uh, dictionary in your application. So we're going to talk about how to use those. So I hope this was useful tonight. We'll see you in the next class where we talk about NS array and mutable array. Thanks everyone for those of you that are attending live. Um, I will go ahead and stop the recording so everyone else can listen. For those of you that are watching the YouTube videos, if you'd like to subscribe and see all the other previous uh, recordings, just go to excelme.com. Click up here on the free video tab, and here's all the previous recordings, as well as how you can go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get all the um, alerts whenever I upload a new uh, video, as well as to um, listen live. Thanks, everybody. Good night.